516. Let's go ahead and check in now with First to Know meteorologist Alexa Trishler. Alexa, um, uh, if you are heading out to a location where perhaps you could purchase one of those yeah. winning tickets, <laughs> would you need an umbrella to shelter you from the way from the rain while you while you try and um, yes. try your you would okay. try those odds, right? I mean, <laughs> yes. Better odds of seeing some raindrops today than that, right? I mean, I, what do you think? Are you gonna buy a ticket today? I don't know. It's definitely. I mean that that uh, the it's, jackpot is a little persuasive. I know, you, right? You know it's like mean? the bigger it gets, the more I think I I might get out there and, and give it a try today. <laughs> so wish me luck. I might not be here tomorrow. We'll see. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good luck. We'll hope you come back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so we're pretty much in the warmest and wettest time of the year. So what you can expect is daily rain and storm chances. So that's what we have on tap. Much like yesterday, we'll probably see those coastal showers starting to overspread the Big Bend and then push on northward as the day goes on. But we should trend dry for at least the next couple of hours. But that's what the week looks like. In addition to a gradual warming trend, especially this weekend, that's when things will get a little bit warmer. So we have that upper level support satellite and radar over the last couple of hours showing some showers and storms in northern Georgia, northern Alabama. But it's that upper level troughing that's nearby that really allows for the showers and storms to get fired up pretty easily. Even starting in the morning hours, we got so much ample moisture in play too. So first to know Titan Doppler radar, what's going on right now? coastal showers in Appalachia Bay. Some isolated showers happening in the southeast Big Bend and parts of our coastal communities, but a lot of us are not seeing anything right now. We are mostly clear, so you can get off to a quiet start to the day. No rain, in, rain impeding you just yet, but as the day goes on, I think your forecast and focus will show more showers and rumbles of thunder starting to bubble up, and we'll see those clouds also starting to bubble up as well, but plenty of sunshine and dryness will be around. Absolutely not a washout, but any showers and storms that do get fired up today can give us those locally higher downpours. In some cases, maybe some brief gusty winds and a lot of lightning, but those are the storms that form later today when they get the assistance from the daytime heating. So it's hit or miss activity, much like we put up with here in the summertime, but then heading into the overnight, we should trend mostly dry, get some clearing and then probably do this again tomorrow. Maybe see some morning coastal showers pushing inland scattered rain and storms once again on tap for us. Still maybe some soaking downpours in play as well. High temperatures today topping out in the upper 80s to lower 90s. It is warm. It is humid. Temperatures will gradually climb into the lower 90s by the middle of the week and heading into the weekend will dry out slightly but warm up to the mid maybe even upper 90s by then. So we'll keep an eye on how much warmer we'll get this weekend.